Hey, I'm Alex from Sourcegraph, and today I'm going to be showing off some new features from our product, Cody. Cody is an AI coding assistant that can help you find, write, and explain code. It uses a combination of LLMs, Sourcegraph Search, and the Code Graph from Sourcegraph in order to provide you with context-aware answers as you're querying the LLM. I want to show off a few of the main ways that you can use Cody today in this video, and those are onboarding to code, writing code, testing code, and fixing bugs in code. So let's jump in here. I've got VS Code open and look at how you can onboard your code with Cody. Imagine that you're just jumping into a project that maybe is new to you, or maybe you're providing a code review for a really large pull request and you're not familiar with that code. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a basic understanding of what you're looking at before you can really jump in. And Cody can speed up this process. So I've got this file open and imagine I'm not familiar with what's going on in this code. I'm gonna highlight the entire contents of this file and I'm just gonna hit here, explain selected code at a high level. And this is a pre-written Cody recipe. So I can simply click this button and it's going to ask Cody to explain the selected code for me. Let's open up this sidebar a little bit and you can see Cody actually read four files in order to gather the necessary context on this file and answer my question. And then it's going line by line and actually explaining to me what exactly is happening in this code. Awesome. All right, let's move on to writing code. So Cody can also write boilerplate code or generic code. For example, I can say, the, uh, give me some code for a bubble sort algorithm in a certain language, for example. Uh, but I can more importantly ask Cody to give up me specific code based on my repository's contents. So in this case, I'm going to ask Cody to write an API request that retrieves a user's repository permissions. I'm working in the source graph repository, and this is important to us with the source graph application because we always have to respect permissions that any given user has for what repositories they can and can't see. Uh, so here we go. Cody is responding now. You can go up here. Here is a GraphQL API request to retrieve a user's repository permissions. And uh, here I can actually see the code for a query to the GraphQL API. And then Cody also unpacks what's happening in this code underneath here. So very quickly, Cody can provide me with actual code that I can then copy and bring right into my file. Uh, and it also gives me the context in it. And this code is relevant to the actual context of my code base. So it's actually looking at how our API is written in order to provide me with this. All right. So next up is testing code. And this is a simple one. I'm actually going to hop over here to a Go file rather than that TypeScript file. Uh, and this is simple. I can ask Cody to generate a unit test with a simple recipe here. So I'm going to highlight a bit of code. Ask Cody, hey, generate me a unit test for this code. It's going to, once again, fetch context. It's going to look at the code surrounding this, read some files, understand what's happening here. And then it's going to write me my unit test. So I have the code right here that I can copy. And then it's actually telling me what this test checks for too. So I've got my unit test right here. Awesome. All right. So last but not least, let's move on to fixing bugs. I'm going to clear my Cody history here. Uh, so to make it super clear what Cody's doing here, I'm going to jump into this file. It's actually outside the source graph code base, but this is just some example Python code. It's not really doing anything particularly important, but I just wanted to provide some example code so that's really obvious what Cody's doing here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is not actually fi fixing a specific bug but asking Cody to provide me code smells so I can see what's going on with this code. I'm gonna highlight all of this, go into recipes and ask Cody to smell code here. And it's gonna think a little bit and give me top five code smells. All right, so Cody says I have a broad accept clause. I'm missing type hints. I have an unused import. I have magic numbers and I'm missing a doc string. So all things that conveniently Cody can also help me fix. So let's see, I'm gonna say, Cody, fix the code smells above. Cody should rewrite that code, awesome, that I can copy and drop in in place that fixes for those code smells. And I can also use our newest functionality here that we call fix up, where I actually write a command in line with my code and then I highlight it and Cody will make the fix in line. So let me grab that same thing I said here, fix the code smells above. But in this case, imagine I'm just writing it right under my code that I want updated, highlighting all of this. And then I'm going to hit 
control option slash, which is my hotkey for fix up. Cody is going to pass that in and it's going to make changes directly in line. So here you go. It's telling me the four changes that it's made and I can see now I have type hints, now I have a doc string, uh, now I have a less broad except clause. Cody has actually gone in and rewritten my code for me for fixes for that. And you can do that for very specific things. So you can write, hey Cody fix X bug. But we've also seen this work for very general things. So you can say, Cody handle errors better in this code, factor out helper functions, extract a specific item into a dedicated React component. You can use this fix up functionality, write that in line, highlight it, hit the hotkey, and Cody will go in and rewrite your code. All right, so those are the four key ways that you can use Cody, onboarding to code, writing code, testing code, and fixing code. And give it a try. It's available today, both as a VS Code extension and right in the interface at sourcegraph.com. So give it a try, we'd love your feedback. And if you'd like to jump into it, you can head to docs.sourcegraph.com slash Cody to get started. Thank you.